Oh hey, bet you're wondering why I'm starting the video like this. Well, it's because today we're going to be talking about what might be the best restroom-based video game system ever made. That's right, the My Arcade Go Gamer Portable. So wash your hands, let's go get playing. Hey Rob here and today we're going to look at the My Arcade Go Gamer Portable with 220 16-bit games in it and a high resolution video screen. Amazing! I think you're going to be astounded at this. Actually I reviewed a very similar console to this by the same company about a year or two back. It actually did review pretty positively as I recall in this very similar construction however it does have some improvements over it that said let's take a look at the box real quick before we start going into that uh, here is the cover art notice how it has pictures of the games that are supposedly in here I will be amazed if some of these games are in here because some actually look like they have pretty good graphics so we'll see I remember the old one really wasn't that bad I mean the graphics on the games are okay and the games are actually playable so it may be uh, but considering this has the same number of games as the old one, I suspect this is just a repeat and reboxing of the old one. Uh, the back cover says 220 fun and easy built in games. Take your games anywhere. 2.5 inch color display with illuminated buttons. Sweet. Headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter, connects to your TV. AV cables not included. I have some, so we'll test that out. The old one didn't have that, as I recall, so that's going to be new. Requires three AAA batteries not included. God, I hate when they do AAAs. I much prefer when they do AA's. So anyway, let's uh, let's give the box a, uh, a B for presentation. It's actually pretty nice. What the heck is this supposed to be? A clock or something? All right, let's get on with the unboxing. All yeah, right. Let's well, got. <laughs> what kind of idiot doesn't bring a knife to an unboxing? This one! Ha! Knife time. Can I figure out how to use the knife? I don't know. A test of skill. I could stab my hand right here during this video. Could happen. You might see. Oh, dude. This is, by the way, absolutely no knife safety is being practiced here. Do not cut like I cut. What the heck am I doing here? All right. Flip her over, I think. Okay, so here is the device itself. It of course, has a fake screen on it, so we'll tear that off. <laughs> it's really stuck on there. Here's a pro tip, game companies. Don't, don't use a sticker that's nearly unremovable. That's weird. All right, there's the front of it. Here's the back of it. There is, of course, a screw on the back to annoy the crap out of me. Uh, the D-pad, it's rubberized, and it's, uh, it's a little bit tighter than I remember the original one being. This one actually feels a little bit better. The buttons, are, this is just a little bit raised over it. It still keeps the same kind of freaky jewel button arrangement that I had before, but honestly does feel a little bit less cheap than the other one if my recollection is served. I don't have the other one anymore, so I can't really judge it directly, but as I recall, the other one felt a little bit cheaper. If you look at the bottom here, we have an AV out and an auxiliary out, which would be the headphones, and the on-off switch on the top. Let's go get some batteries. Check it out. I missed this. It actually comes with a little manual. Aww. Even includes materials needed. 
three AAA batteries, mini screwdriver, and a 2.5 millimeter to AV cable. It's optional. And the manual is mostly in pretty darn good English. So nothing to report there. But look at that. Oh, it goes in French too. Pretty sweet. All right, let's turn it on. As you can see already, this is a magnet for fingerprints. However, it's smooth and easy to clean. First click of the power button turns the screen on and of course the system. Now the second one, however, let me back up, turns the backlights on. That's a really nice effect for a very cheap device. Anyway, uh, button layout is the usual start, select, A and B button. However, this is no Famiclone. The uh, Famicom definitely couldn't have run this. Well, looking at the screen, you can see it's really a pretty bright screen. And the selection of games, it, it says on the main menu that it is a sport version. However, if you go deeper in, let's go over here. We have education and mini games. And then the mini games, there's a little bit of everything on. Here, let's show you this. You get a little bit better idea. Notice how the music's not too bad, and the actual sound on the device is pretty good too. And really not bad at all. Oops, you hold and... I'm sorry, you press and hold the button. Here. And I don't think I have even earned a golf clap for that. Alright. So I moved right, and what it's doing is it's letting me select where... I want to hit the ball too. There we go. And holding it. And there it goes. Whee! Wow. With graphics rivaling some indie Steam games. I mean, it really does actually look pretty good though. All right, let's bring it on screen. Okay, so let's look at some games. And the first thing you're gonna notice is this flickering. Now I'm gonna tell you something. I have tried this on two different units. Uh, I returned this one. I didn't return this one. I returned another one and got this one. And I also have tried two sets of cables and tested them on other machines and they've worked. So. This flickering seems to be kind of inherent to the system. I'm not 100% sure that whether this would happen if you hook this up to a CRT or not. Uh, I've got a PVM in the basement, but it's kind of a pain in the butt to drag out, so I'm not gonna do that. But just know this flickering might be there, so if it bothers you, keep it in mind. All right, let's start with tennis. This has got uh, a lot of sports games on it, but some of them are really pretty good. And this one is, uh, this one's pretty good. <laughs> this is kind of a, a rhythm type of game. It's a, not really a rhythm game, but a, a timing game. So you gotta kind of time it right. There we go. Oh! Ah! Crap. <laughs> Got it. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! Don't do me like that. The first time I played this game, I totally dominated it. So what is up with that? Nice. Hey! Yeah, bite me. Am 
gonna break your non-existent legs. <laughs> Was not out. Terrible. Come on. Let's try one more. So you can control the direction a little bit with the D-pad. There we go. Can I maybe score some point? Maybe? Why is he serving? Oh yeah, I can see it. Hitting it too late. There we go. Ah, oh, stinking net. But the graphics on this are pretty nice too. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, the flickering, yeah, but you don't see that on the little screen. <laughs> that should be mine, right? Ah, oh, yeah, that was me. That was out. I don't like his gloating. Yeah. All right, this is getting really close to Rob plays tennis on a crappy handheld. <laughs> as a show so anyway there's a there's baseball these are all very very similar they're they're pretty much I mean for for low-end sports games they are pretty much oh that was delayed uh, they're pretty much well thought out I mean they're definitely these are playable that looks like crap, but it again, it doesn't look like that on the screen. You don't get this like thing, but this is something you see. I mean, it's really kind of kind of a bummer that it's video outputs like this. Bowling I like quite a bit. Uh, basketball's okay. Boxing's kind of fun too. Uh, let's go into these. Uh, actually, let me show you this too. This is something that shows up even on the screen itself, like the built-in screen. Actually, the heck, this is playing a little bit faster. <laughs> Video out. This game uh, had some significant slowdown before that I am totally not seeing now. That's weird. Is it because I've got a different... I wonder if the last one was slightly more defective than this one. But this is playing fine now. This is actually... The time's pretty good, huh? Well, the speed's pretty good, not the time. Ugh. But you notice, I mean, it's got like all the things you'd expect out of a out of a shooter. I mean, it's got pickups and bosses and uh, pretty much everything. I don't think the graphics are ripped from anything. I I don't recognize them anyway. If uh, anybody's seen these before and uh, thinks they're a rip, let me know what they uh, what they think it's from. But yeah, it you know this is okay, no problem. It even looks decent on the screen, like some don't. All right, there are uh, some. <laughs> I got to show you this one, but uh, there are some. I'll show you a mini fight or two. There are some educational games in here. I'm, I'm not gonna go into them. I, I don't think you're gonna buy these for the educate, educational games. I, I might end up. All right, I'll play one educational game. Well, this is got significant graphical glitching. <laughs> so it's like rip off Road Rash. 
And again, when you're playing it on the screen, on the mini screen, it doesn't have this problem. But it certainly does when it's outputting the video. This is, <laughs> you get a hammer. Um, unfortunately, not the most fun game on Earth. No, it is not. And then we got Mini Fighter with what looks like Miniature Ken. Get him! Ha! For a Mini Fighter, there is a lot of, uh, Get a lot of hit points. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, what the heck is that, her dad? What the heck? She calls her dad to kick your butt. Oh no! I cannot for the life of me get any of the special moves working. There she is down, KO'd. All right, let's let's get into the uh, other games. I mm, I said I wasn't gonna do it, but I guess I will go into an educational game or two. Like I said, they're not <laughs> not really the thing for me. Let's, uh, let's play. Uh, I, mean, I guess anybody would want to play Find the Differences, right? Find the Differences! America's favorite game show! Okay, so apparently that's a different thing, right? Because it's, it's a watermelon and those are balloons. Got it! I'm smart. <laughs> Uh, monkey, 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 human. I don't see much difference between those, but go ahead. Genetically, there's really a very minor difference. Of course, uh, that said, say that if you're dating a monkey. You know, pretty major genetic difference then. It's a difference between dating and bestiality, really. So, uh... <laughs> That's exciting. Alright, so there's a kid's game, uh, or a, a quote educational game. I don't know uh, what, the, uh, what the value of that is, but it's there. Okay, so also if you go through, there's a mini game section. I'm going to roll through. Uh, I'm going to roll through these real quick. I'm not going to play all of them, obviously, but there are a number of different different puzzle games i mean look at this you get you get a lot in there see it restarts at the end and they are for the most part pretty individual i i haven't played them all but most of them are at least different enough to be considered different i'm gonna try space sword because this really had some performance issues uh on the last one i had I think we know now why they don't include a cable, though. I, I'm guessing yeah, this is... No, this is much better. Alright, so maybe the first one I had had... <laughs> was more defective than this one. Woo! -hoo. There's my shield. Wait, uh, heal, heal. I don't really know what separates mini games in their mind from like full fledged games, because pretty much the mini games appear to be as full fledged as the the other games. 
Maybe they just should have put miscellaneous or something in there? I don't know. There's another sports section. Oh, uh, there is... Where is it? I should show you this. Oh, where is it? Yeah, there's a tower defense game. This is actually a tower defense game on one of these tiny little things. You know, I realize it isn't... It isn't much, but I can't believe they put a tower defense game in here. So you can choose your tower, place your little towers. I can't see that. It's behind my, ah, I have a headphone rack over here. There we go, that's the start button. All right, so let's just, I don't even know which side is which, but. Let's just start it. Look at that. Hmm? Tower defense. Okay, that's like watching paint dry. Let's relax. Let's see what sports are in here. Okay, so it's racing mostly. There's some soccer. There's dodgeball. Let's take a look at dodgeball. This does not look... So we're playing against the blue doubles or whatever. <laughs> he threw a bomb! Yeah. You gotta go press forward and press the button. That's bullcrap, buddy. And you keep going until, uh... Yeah, you keep going until somebody's out of bars. This is, uh... That's a little... That's a little rough there. Not that great. I was risking it there. I hadn't played that one before. In fact, I stayed out of the sports, but <laughs> let's see. Let's see GT racing. Dang! Unfortunately, we got some of the blarbies going on here. I mean, the graphics aren't phenomenal or anything, but I gotta say they're not bad. Hmm. Balloon ball. Alright, and then let's try... Try one more cake party. That, I don't know, that doesn't sound good. Let's do, uh. Yeah, we'll do Bubble Shooter. Yeah, it's, uh. Frozen Bubble Clone. Which is. Well, it's acceptable. It's not. Great, but it's definitely. Oh, look at that. They reused their bomb from the last game. Alright, so. Um, <laughs> let's get a verdict on this thing. What's the verdict on the Go Gamer Portable, you ask? Well, it's a mixed bag, honestly. I like the controller quite a bit. Uh, even though it's rubberized, which is a little bit weird at first, it, it does control quite well. Much better than the version that I reviewed a while back, which is horizontal, and the D-pad's a little bit bigger, and that makes all the difference in this device. The smaller D-pad really feels way better. 
and I have big hands, so it's not like it's a you know it's not like it's a size thing. Also, I like the little gem buttons; they work really well. They're very reactive. Uh, had no problems with them in game, and you know, the light the light looks cool. You gotta say. Uh, the screen, it's very nice and bright. I'm going to note that I returned one of these because it had dead pixels. And one dead pixel ruins the screen because it's so small. You really have to make sure that the screen works really well. Uh, as far as the video output goes, I couldn't get it to work right. You can see what the results I got uh, from the reviewer. You know, some of the games look fine on it. The menu looks a little goofed up. And then other games... Are completely messed up now that doesn't happen on the little screen everything works fine on the little screen so I don't know what is going on with that and again as I said I tested it with several cables and I tested those cables with other devices and they worked fine so it's got to be something with this and I've tested on two of these devices and got the same results so I don't know what's going on there but note it if, if you're looking for something that you're always going to use on the TV, this is probably not going to be the device for you. As far as sound goes, the sound is actually pretty good. I complain about tinniness all the time. Yeah, it's tinny, but it's not real tinny. It's got decent mid-range, and the, the games just kind of fit what it has going on. And it's not, not bad. The sound's not bad. You know, what can I say? The volume's pretty high, and it doesn't sound like, <laughs> like so many do. As far as the games go, there's a wide variety of games on the thing. I like a lot of the games. In fact, I found myself playing them more than I'd originally planned to. And uh, during the review time, you know, they, I take a little time in between the first part of the video and the second to actually play it. I found myself playing it more than I thought. Uh, and, and I would sit for longer sessions than I thought. Not that any of these games are like super great, but they're interesting enough to keep you playing them. So, not bad. Reliability. Now, I do have some concerns about the reliability on this device. Now, the dead pixel thing, that happens to everybody. Heck, that even happens to the best companies. These are shipped a very long distance. They get crushed, they get mutilated, whatever. That happens, okay? That's not that big of a deal to me. The video out, however, uh, stakes of an actual design problem. I'm guessing that they probably all have this problem. So, it, you know, maybe they don't. Maybe it doesn't happen on every TV. Maybe, who knows. But it does stake of uh, non-standard design because almost every Famiclone runs on the setup that I've got, and I record them all the time, that this one can't says there's something unusual about this. So keep an eye out for that. Also note that the first device that I had uh, was suffering from some pretty bad slowdowns. So basically what I'm saying is if you're getting this for your kids for like, their birthday or Christmas or Easter or whatever, bust it out of the packaging, test it out first. Speaking of testing it out first, uh, note that there is a screw on the back for the battery door, which annoys the living crap out of me, but you know, it is what it is. I know it doesn't bother everybody, but if it bothers me, it's gonna bother somebody else. Uh, also takes three AAA batteries, so if you don't normally keep AAA batteries in your house, you're gonna wanna grab some for this device. Uh, all in all though, I'm gonna give this thing a thumbs up. You know, given everything that I've said back there, it's it's not bad for fifteen dollars, and and the price point that is a huge handicap for it in its favor. It you can get away with a lot of sins for fifteen dollars, and I have definitely played a lot worse game systems even at the thirty dollar level. So that's it. It gets a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in a couple days. Bye. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos